Hello there. Hello. Good morning, or good evening, in fact. Welcome. Hello. Hug. Mortish. Space Bunny. Pete. Nice to see you arriving perfectly on time, as per. We are live on YouTube and Twitch. Seems like we're doing good. King of Toto. Thank you. It's good to be back. Yeah, feeling really good. Um, next week will we'll be a little bit disrupted. Um, but apart from that, we're kind of back firing on all cylinders and ready to crack back into it. I haven't seen you in three with lots of zero years. I know. Shakira and Fry's your username is still fantastic, by the way. Stay classy. Um, okay, today we're playing something quite special. It's the brand new Humankind Scenario Challenge. And they've really gone... Um, They've really taken it to new heights. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, I'm assuming you can hear me uh, loud and f***ing clear. It looks like you can. <laughs> Thank you for the likes already. Let's take a look. So, in this wonderful screen here, you can see, by the way, they've sort of re-added all of these events so you can see I missed out, personally, uh, on the Leonardo da Vinci event. So, nice to unlock that. Probably the coolest persona, in my opinion, so far, um, of the historical ones. Kirby's Dream Buffet is out and on sale for $15. I I remember us talking about it and I looked into it, but no, I didn't see that it was out. $15 is quite cheap. Two. That's surprising. Uh, <laughs> anyway, if you jump into the play menu, you'll see there's this new The Hundred Years War campaign. Now, we're just going to jump straight in. Current era medieval, current culture Franks. I know relatively little about this, except for it is a scenario based off the Hundred Years War, if you don't know, TLDR, uh, <laughs> the year's like 1400 and go figure, the, the, the Brits, the French are fighting each other, who would have thought? Um, and it's just sort of lots of infighting and it's messy and it's all a bit rough, but quite a notable conflict of the period. The challenge is to try and kick their backsides as fast as humanly possible. The music is so loud. Interesting. I haven't changed its volume. Anyone else finding that the music is too loud? Happy to adjust. Um, but I haven't changed any settings. So it's... I fear it's been too loud for a very long time. Do you have your soundboard thing? Yes. Can you hear... These effects? I hope you can. <laughs> Let me know if you can't. But the sound should be all good. No, not too loud? Okay, great. Um... So, the thing about this scenario is they've also invited me very kindly to play in sort of like a, a creator challenge version. If you've been around the block for a while, you may know um, of the pollution challenge that I did, what was it, a month or two ago now? Probably. You can! fan fantastic. That is brilliant. Love to hear it. Thank you for confirming. <laughs> it's soothing and not too loud. Good. Yeah, I hope so. I, I think I should be able to hear it at the same volume you can, and, and I find it just to be sort of just right. Um, so, sorry friend. <laughs> okay, um, as I was saying, I've also been invited to participate in a creator version of this challenge. They've invited uh, 10 creators, one of them is me, uh, and the winner, the person who can beat the scenario the fastest, and there are other sort of tiebreaker mechanisms this time as well that are, are quite refined, um, <laughs> they win a really good processor. It's an Intel i9, I think it might be the 12... 900k <laughs> don't quote me on that that's from the top of my head so i thought today let's jump in and have a practice let's familiarize ourselves with this new mode because i've heard some great things it's got a custom map it's got all sorts of um very interesting challenges embedded inside of it we'll see how i go and then uh maybe down the line well definitely down the line probably early september we'll jump in and go for an official playthrough once i've had an opportunity to play test it a bit more hopefully some of you as well we can hive mind it like we did last time <laughs> but either way okay so we start here in pali we haven't constructed our unique science is very bad naturally uh <laughs> But we've got all of the classical era technologies. Uh, gold hurting a little bit. Influence is fine. City cap low. <sighs> Don't have a lot in the way of a standing army. Um, but that's okay. I think we should probably separate these dudes. And we also don't actually even know... Oh, yes we do. Look at this. Okay, London is squeezed up there. Neat. Um, 
what we'll need to do is grab one of these units, separate it that way, probably also jump down onto this river, right? So we waste a turn crossing the river, it's fine. Uh, Paris only has one population, and it needs it to grow, so <laughs> that's fine. Uh, and then in terms of our construction, hmm, I wonder if science is needed at all as I, like, try and instantly big brain this. Like, surely war summons is maybe all that I would need. And then I can't help but feel that because we're going to be training dudes, probably we buy a farmer's quarter. That looks good. Maybe we can move our population if we do that as well. It could be a double whammy. Uh, or we could expel them for it. I don't think that's a good idea, actually. Uh, we could move this dude onto science because we should have enough food now to grow. Yes, we do. Uh, industry is also kind of tempting, but but also very garbage. What's this? Speaking of garbage, Sage. Actually quite good. Yeah, could be could be quite useful. I think that's fine. Hey, Franklin, welcome in. The craziest time in European history. So long that multiple generations lived through the war. <laughs> we don't know why we're fighting, but we are. <laughs> Hate. Uh, okay. Um, let's... Just try and hoover up as much of this as we can. I assume that establishing extra cities is going to be a good idea. Um, so that we can get extra populations. And we're an ace seat because, of course, we're playing as the Franks straight into the medieval era. Um, I guess I just use this here. Right? Yes. <laughs> That's a big win. Because now we should be able to speed through cities. Speaking of, actually... I wonder... I wonder if I've made an error. You could maybe argue that feudalism is better so that you can pump out fast cities. I think that's a good idea, actually. I've changed my mind. Uh, <laughs> uh, go figure. Okay. Any really clutch wonders? Hmm. Pyramid of Giza. Probably too slow. Um, Temple of Artemis. Kind of warlike, but no. Muslim Pelicanesis? No, no, no. I, I don't think we need any of this. This is all somewhat garbage. Maybe the plus 25 war support increase when going to war. Potentially. Thank you, Byron. It's a pleasure to be back. Uh, <laughs> so we are fighting the French. That's right. It's in our DNA, you see. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like I don't need this. I think we just go big cities, big fun, and probably toward the Brits, I feel. Um, but let's step up onto this hill and onto that river. Neat. Horses could be useful. Um, we are riding on horseback already. It does provide a reasonable amount of science. The industry in this territory is just god awful, though. That's going to take a million years to build. We can't do that. It's too slow. I'm leaving. <laughs> You're too slow. And I hate you. This one could be really good for industry. Might be a good cheeky grab. We'll see. Um, this, I think, is better than any farmer's quarter at the minute. So let's do that. And let's get everybody on science because my science sucks. 24 turns for fast cities. Uh, I feel that even that is too slow. But I'll just keep stealing scientists. No, we can't. We're out. We're completely out. Okay. Um, let's build this then. <laughs> When in Rome. In and let's just sacrifice and shift you and just roll through that. Yep. And I think that's a great idea. There is more to creating okay, an so we've got food and science, idea. and we're going to get this artisan's quarter as well. I won't sacrifice the population for it. I wonder if... No, let's, let's just keep up the fun. Let's have an explore over here. And also, I'm going to try and sneak my way up to some high ground, maybe. See if I can plot something out. I don't know. <laughs> Is it a big brain play? Maybe. 817 looks good. Let's grab it. It'll be established nice and quick, and we can attach it up to the capital. Getting one territory attached as soon as possible is a good idea. Oi. Hello. What would you like? <laughs> How can I buy you? <laughs> are they going to run at me? Yes, they are. Let's run away from them. We don't have enough units. <laughs> Also, ah, ah. Okay. Grab that. Let's scout this out a bit more in case there's a better spot to move to. 
Well, if you like food, <laughs> which I do, but I think we grab the industry instead because our industry is also quite low. Hey, hey, but a little bit of extra exploration. Do I want to grab a second city straight away rather than an attach? No. <laughs> it's a hard no. Keep shifting people off food and onto science. Paris grows uh, stronger. <laughs> and we move on. Try and squeeze up against them. Actually, there's an idea. Let's just ring fence them in so that they cannot do diddly squat. Uh, here, as luck would have it, is a territory with some more horses. So, whoo wee uh, 20 industries, says the man. Yes. Neat. War laugh. Um, hopefully this ring fences them in, but uh, there could be a way around here for them to grow. Hello, Dark Arrow. I'm doing well, thanks. It's nice to hear from you. How many people do we have watching on Twitch today? I'm always curious about Twitch. <laughs> okay, okay. We've got like just shy of 20. I like it. Um, right. I wonder when it's, is it too early to start building troops? <laughs> we need more science, dang it! <laughs> hey, Pilu! Nice to see you. That was nearly a pun. I thought about it. Um, we should probably turn Pally into a birthday cake. Seven gold? No. <laughs> it's simply too much. Um, I wonder if I just forego all of this good stuff, because in this game, maybe it's not a high enough priority for me. Uh, although flood irrigation is pretty nice, 14 food. We're going to need that. Um, and I'll also need to either sacrifice population or train population, do something to keep that moving. Um, oh, and for the first time live in front of a studio audience of 45 people, I'm going to use my standing desk. I wonder if you can hear it. It's got this rinky dink little motor that you can only use once, <laughs> once in 20 minutes. Allegedly. Oh, hold on. I'm just going to move this glass of water, though. This is a this is an ACC claim just waiting to happen. Okay. All right. <laughs> Three, two, one. It's the Middle Ages, but my God, he has the technology. Good choice, Jumbo. Vive le Juan. I agree. <laughs> and also, I like that Amplitude chose to make this scenario first. <laughs> I love that. Oh, okay, I've just knocked some wall art over. I didn't quite realize that that was... Okay. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Alrighty. And there's my alarm going off to tell me it's time to start streaming. But luckily for you, European viewers, uh, we managed to start slightly earlier today. And when I say we, I mean me. Okay. Um, I think we should probably push up against them. We know that there are bad boys out that way, so let's ignore that place. I might grab this territory. Could be a good one for a city. Great choice for a scenario. Yeah, right? So fitting on so many levels. So many levels. Really cool choice. Um, plus five influence or plus three faith. It, it's We're probably never really going to get a particularly impactful religion. So I think that plus five influence on the main plaza is probably a good shout. Um, legitimacy. Well, legitimately, probably a, a fairly reasonable shout too. Let's take that. To leave a <laughs> uh, but we actually don't want to move towards this Not candle, to do we? Yours, no. Mine. So let's also enact the natural right of the people. We've got a, a keep it metric boatload We've of influence, um, which is place. awesome, because it's allowed us to really aggressively forward settle them. Another good design element. Whether a kawinky dink or not, uh, welcome if you're just tuning in. This is a brand new scenario. Uh, in Humankind game, and it is by far the most impressive one that they've put in so far. Um, it's integrated very smoothly, uh, and, I mean, so far it seems awesome, historically accurate, flavorful, fun. But it's early days! Thank you. Howling... I don't know how to say that... M mad... Mad Bjorn? Bjorn? Mad Bjorn? Howling Mad Bjorn! Thank you for following. Um, okay. I should turn those follow alerts off. <laughs> Your first harbor. First harbor, Wallaf. Trade, 
we could Voyages probably pump out some powerful flourish. ships and just sail over here and you will see many um, wreck face as well. What? How many turns have I taken? Six. World. I think it's on blitz pacing. Which means that this is going to take forever. Um, do I want to hold off? I don't think I do. Uh, no, I actually do think I do. Sorry. <laughs> I've immediately changed my mind. I'm going to detach that again. We're going to kit this place out like there's no tomorrow. Plus five industry. Somebody hold me down. And then we're going to turn this into a city. Um, and I'm going to name it after the man of the hour. It's Huckville, Tennessee. Uh, let's just call it Huckville, actually. <laughs> Keep it flavorsome. Um, and then an insta buff for food would be nice out of this, but it's probably not needed. Should we go for the science? Yes. Connecting it off the harbor. Hello, beautiful. I like that. Good evening. This is the brand new 100 Years War scenario game mode challenge that they've issued. Um, some very cool prizes up for grabs as well, but I just love the, the, so far, anyway, from what I've experienced, the historical flavor of this is so cool. Um, I've always, have always found it difficult to find scenarios in these kind of games that really captivate me. So I'll be interested to see if this one has the legs to do so. Um, do I want to convert? No, I don't think so. Let's just keep hooning around. Maybe we attach this one up to Paris. Paris is getting a little bit big for its boots, though. Uh, starting to run out of jobs and other things. If this connects to the ocean, which I'm assuming it does? Is it a historically accurate map? Like, geographically? It looks like it, it very well could be. Paris seems to be in the right place. So I'm assuming we can uh, do, do as the Vikings do. As the Vikings did. And maybe get out that way as well. Whether that's a high priority, I don't know. They have a lot of people. They do. They do. And <laughs> get out of here, Franklin. And the people who I've had the pleasure to deal with have all been really good people as well, for what it's worth. <laughs> if that means anything to anyone in the audience. Um, like, really kind, really understanding, very thoughtful. Go this way. Their partner program is a pleasure to be a part of as well. And, and, and much like the game is just constantly getting better, uh, which is awesome. When was the Hundred Year War? Uh, uh, around 1350 to 1450-ish, I think. Citation very much needed, but I think around that sort of 1400 mark, plus and, plus and minus 50 years. Hey, off! <laughs> it is a recreation of France, a historically accurate recreation of France. I thought as much. I thought as much. I love it. I love it. I think they also released the map uh, as a standalone four-player map as well. So um, down the line, we'll maybe adopt this map uh, and create some other kind of full-length playthrough out of it, um, which could be really fun because it's a historically accurate Earth map, which are, generally speaking, my favorite kind of maps. So it's just, it's just a scenario that keeps giving. There we go. From Leet to 1453. Thank you, Dio. I appreciate that. Another city down, or do I want to wait some more turns? Uh, I think we'll maybe actually attach this. Yeah. Expansion of Star done and dusted. Let's get another one of these down. Although, actually, it'll get to a tipping point, won't it? where I have too much science that I don't really need anymore. And I could very nearly be at that spot. So, ha. Let's approach with caution. We 
we're going to need probably a fraction of industry, maybe, um, and enough food to support constant armies. That should be good enough. I'm not going to worry about stability. <laughs> Within reason, of course. <laughs> God. Why should individual wealth and political connections determine the status of something as timeless as the land? Okay, yeah, so as expected, this is Forestville, Tennessee. One should study up their French geography a little closer, perhaps, before di <laughs> diving into this. <laughs> uh, I know that Paris is sort of right in the middle, uh, and the population um, spread in France is really fascinating as well, actually. To but I can't quite recall it properly, but I think <laughs> this is really garbled. But I think there's a sort of a, a, a like a slice through the middle, really, like sort of a vertical, like a chonk down like this, um, where like half the population live or something, because pa Paris is so uh, overwhelmingly urban. You know, the population is so overwhelmingly urbanized towards Paris. Um, it's like a standout example, I think. Welcome, if you're just tuning in as well. 25 likes and 61 viewers. It would be doing myself a disservice if I didn't say, please like the video. Oh, he loves a shameless self-plug. He really does. <laughs> yes. As you can see, this is our target, uh, if we choose to accept it. Ten turns deep. Interesting. So I'm a little slow, probably, to, to win this challenge uh, at this point. <laughs> Three turns. Maybe I hold for the next city. Uh, Paris could probably grab some industry, though. And actually, it's probably this one. No, it's this one. Yep, it's this one. Uh, that just probably makes more logical sense moving forward, I'd say. Um... We're about to get two horses, so animal barns is reasonable enough. Uh, if we can squeeze some more scientists, we may be able to get this done in two turns. That would be pretty nice. Let's chuck all the nerds over here too. Neat. Two turns. Okay, fantastic. Um, so with that in mind, I can probably focus on uh, pumping up the other yield. So let's just grab a little bit of food and industry. We're going to need some money to hold a standing army, but otherwise... Maybe not super useful for us, really. Um, and here's some copper, which is super useful for us, really. <sighs> not with that really distinct lack of industry. Uh, let's step up onto the hill and place it down. For industry is good enough. Licking the video? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> okay, Kang. Three bucks, whales, and dies. Very good. Very good. Okay, and then we'll get the copper online there. It's blitz mode, so actually the industry doesn't matter a damn. Hmm. Leadership will give me an extra city cap, but I don't know if I'll actually be able to make the most of that. I wonder if perhaps instead we move towards this warlike crap. Um... I'm going to do that. It may seem I'm going for the war stuff. But at least <laughs> it makes sense, history. considering it is literally our primary objective. Ah, the pastoral English. Leave them to their farms and everything should Spoke be fine. Spoke maps really suit humankind, and, don't uh, they? And maybe get rid of the yew trees. Okay, well... I mean... <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is France, can't you say? Okay, feudalism done. Let's get some new cities. One. And two. Boom. All right. Brand new cities. These ones, because they're built um, with feudalism unlocked, 
are much, 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 much better. They have all of the prior, wow, 1620 industry. They have all of the prior infrastructures, so they'll just like sort of immediately start to overtake the rest. Uh, learning is probably better. 30 science as opposed to 100 bucks. Yeah, let's grab that. My science per turn is really exceptional now. Uh, too good, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Probably slight overkill, but that's fine. Let's start training some units before this gets away on me here. Um, one, two, three, four swordsmen, I guess. Uh, oh, actually. There's, um, hmm. Hmm. Do I want to build any infrastructure? I think the answer is... Uh, to huck with it. So, no. I think I'll just build units. One, two, maybe a couple of anti cavalries The English do love their horses. Maybe. <laughs> uh, and then down here, let's just immediately get three and three. Take advantage of these extra populations. Now, war summons, we've, you know, already sort of worked on it a little bit. Uh, hello, beautiful. Two horses and two iron. Right. Neat. We'll really destroy if we get those. <laughs> I am now 11 turns in. Don't think those are useful for me. These places could use um, attached territories. So let's just start kind of plopping these down. Um, Pally has got a unit for us. We'll grab the, these horses because we're going to need two. So, looks like we'll need these ones after all. Lol, lol, lol. That'll teach me. Uh, we'll just place that down there. Uh, it's it's like a DLC scenario addition to the game would probably be the, the best way to describe it. Yeah. Although, you know, you could argue it operates very similarly to a mod in that it's a custom map, which of course could be uh, modded into the game, and um, making the most of existing cultures uh, for the most part, though, it seems, and, and all those existing assets. So I don't know how you want to draw that, that distinction, but um, it's entirely free. So I, I would say it's a, a DLC scenario addition to the game. Uh, and of course, a free downloadable content scenario addition at that. All right, we've met the English. It's it's supreme ruler Jumbo Pixel the Franks versus King Beowulf of the English. <laughs> very good uh, and very jealous. We are much more powerful than them. Okay, well, let's go get him. Ain't no time like a show time. Let's go beat the English. Um, should I make this into a city as well? Yeah. <laughs> He's going mad. Oh god, I hope they don't take it. <laughs> that would be really quite funny. Um, okay. All the units. One, two, three, one, two. Farmer's quarter. I don't think we need that. Thanks very much. See you later. <laughs> uh, and then we'll go full center on food and industry everywhere as we, um... As we start to train stuff. In fact, expert policy is probably a good idea. Because then it will just automatically route um, everybody onto food. Probably there won't be enough populations left to make it through to industry. But that doesn't matter. We'll be fine. Uh, my understanding is we'd, we'd be just playing as the one culture because the scenario is largely the English versus the French. It's the whole sort of mantra of it from that 1337 till 1453 deal period. Um, so just the Franks. Just the Franks. Just the English. A good old fashioned romping. Um, train faster or fight harder? Let's go train f faster. This should improve. Uh, because I don't think we need to fight harder. But frankly. It'll probably <laughs> frankly. He's good. He's good. All right. Turn 12. Just 
More dudes. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> the French are coming. And zoom you up that way. All right. I like this. <laughs> Let's go see what we can find. <laughs> I've sort of colonized a good chunk of France here. Um, and very rapidly at that. Those cities will be able to attach to some additional territories in a sec. Get our backsides over this way. There's another horse. Uh, which I do still need somehow. Oh, because this place isn't done. Okay. You do you. Aha! <laughs> and now uh, we have some real firepower. Um, so let's get crossbowmen and pikemen uh, everywhere as far as the eye can see. And in fact, you're useless to me. <laughs> get out of my face! Uh, I want these units instead. And Huck's going to train some too, because why the Huck not? Maybe save up for some upgrades on some of these? We don't need to, um, <laughs> we don't need to sacrifice them all. <laughs> we could keep a few about, I think. Um, I don't know about this. But I also don't really care about this city, to be fair. Hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Look at all these dudes go! <laughs> go! Go! Um, just keep clicking these. Oh boy. That's a lot of Par Parisian dudes. <laughs> We are going to destroy them. <laughs> I mucked around too long, probably. We don't care about the ransack at this point. <laughs> I should really connect up these armies as well. It's costing us a fortune. All of these guys have got their own, like, private um, chauffeurs and stuff. It's ridiculous. Foreign cultures um, get together okay. And decide to murder each other. We'll fight those guys. Because <laughs> why not? <laughs> navigable rivers? Yes, I agree. I agree. All Forex games should have navig navig navigable, navigable, navigable rivers. Um, and none of them really do it especially well. In fact, none of them really do it at all. <laughs> you know, like even this is really just sort of ocean tiles. Um, done very well, but I... I unless, it, unless I'm... Yeah, it's just coastal water, so, you know. Not that it matters, I guess, in this scenario, because we um, start with the ability to cross it, so it's eff effectively the same. Um, yeah, go on, train some more. <laughs> so, some of us will have to stay behind. <laughs> no. Yeah, bridges. They can move through the eras as well, right? As you move through the eras, develop different technologies, and they can be um, those fantastic European bridges that open up in the middle so boats can come through. <laughs> okay. We've made landfall. Oh, I'm sorry. Here we go. Chat box enabled. Um, I can probably stop training dudes as well, to be fair. Although we don't know how strong they are. We get there and they have tanks or something. We're going to have to rethink this. We need to auto-destroy the English button. See, the interesting thing is there really isn't a lot of point in doing much else, is there? I guess we just get some food. <laughs> Figure off. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Get 
some more crossbows. <laughs> it's too many! <laughs> Okay, it's a little bit of an eyesore, but <laughs> boy, we're going to teach them a lesson they won't soon forget. Go on. So our current status is a military, a risk-taking, <laughs> current status is a risk. <laughs> Be quiet. We need to sort of generate some extra war support as well. Um... So let's demand that they stop oppressing my people. Must be taken. Should have done that a little while ago. Could actually build the wonder rather than training units. Because it will get to a point where I just literally don't need to train anymore. Um, and I reckon I could already be at that point. So maybe I build the wonder to get the war support extra generation. It's a little odd ball. But... You know? Units are everywhere. I know, look at them all. <laughs> it's too much. Our operating costs. Oh my god. <laughs> we hope we We hope we win this soon, sir. <laughs> You've really risked everything on it. Oh dear. Don't look at that. Nobody look at that. That is horrendous. I'm surprised we've still got positive influence. Um, all right, I'm going to stop training units because I'm really se quite severely bankrupt. Um, <laughs> it's close to home. Okay, let's delete these. Uh, and give me this Forbidden City. Plus 25 war support increase. We're going to war. Yes. The Lighthouse of Alexandria could also be really useful, actually, um, to speed us up. Where is this stupid thing? Here it is. Forbidden City. <laughs> Neat. Okay. I want everybody building this Forbidden City. Get to it. Um, we've got enough cities that we should be able to do it relatively quickly. We don't need that. Okay, six turns. Very good. We can probably not also afford to not focus or sort of anti-focus <laughs> on growth for a bit. Um... Oh, they're actually all of them are full. Now, hold on one second. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Um, I'm gonna need to put my headphones back on. Have you seen in the south you have more say it ain't so <laughs> Bordeaux. I did not even see that. Lucky it's still relatively early to intervene. <laughs> Okay, we'll just ditch the Forbidden City perhaps on the southern two. Um, 
and they can prepare an additional battalion. I'm gonna go for a one and done kind of strategy. <laughs> it's just chaotic enough to work. Right, so retreat out of there. Like the coward that I am. Um, I'm gonna need some additional support over here. Go, 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 go. <laughs> you get some more competent units over here as well, really. Took this though, that's nice. 16 food. Stop. Um, I think we'll just attach. Maybe complete the market quarters here as well, because I think I need to adjust my expectations just a little. Um, just spam all those out. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that, that's going to help. <laughs> you did good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, seven gold. I like it. Eight gold. Very good. Okay. Huckville now doing a hard pivot onto um, <laughs> trying to save our bacon. Um, and we could probably do the same over here around this cluster. Five market quarters isn't a sign 16 of bucks. It's a sign of you wise investment. <laughs> Let's just surround this stupid thing. Um, bail out the economy and train extra armies. He's going to try and do it all at once. <laughs> okay, and then we can sort of expand out and down this way. Yes. No? I hope so. Run your little ants. Go on. As feudal structures prove practical for both farming and war. Chivalry researched. So there's my my trump card. Um, uh, do, 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 two, 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 two. There's a six. Let's grab that. Grab those horses. Then we just need iron. Um, I might spend a moment to just kind of gather my thoughts here and pull these units together. Hmm. Already pretty poor. We will just do legalize. Yes! Yo, the octopus, welcome in! You're just in time. <laughs> we are preparing for war! Uh, and learning as we do it. <clears throat> that I should have probably moved down south a little faster. Maybe went slightly too hard on the science. Just a fraction. Should have pivoted a little earlier to gold. Um, also, maybe uh, I should revisit the civic. Where are you? Here. Cancel that. Most Grab that. That'll help to uh, influence generation a bit. City cap now we're at plus one, so I could also consider building an extra city if I wanted to. Um, but we've got some fairly decent units, so we should be all right. I don't think we need to worry about, um, you know, additional slots for training additional units, blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> I think we just need to go all in. <laughs> Lighthouse of Alexandria. Kind of a mood. Probably um, a nice to have, though, rather than a beeline for, the more that I think about it. Um, jump on in, jump on over. Now let's see what we can do. <laughs> Don't like that, especially, but I think they're fine. Um, other vital technologies. I guess we could upgrade our swordsman to great swordsman. Probably the next best bet. Um, fort is, is nice enough. Probably not needed. Theology will get us an additional city cap. Seafaring mastery if we want to get those boats online too. Maybe I didn't go too hard on the science. The jury's out. Just reading the chat. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's so nice. I was going to repeat it. I thought you might be interested. But you've already read it. 
<laughs> okay. What is that? <laughs> this is a lot. I feel like I'm playing Civ. Like, why, uh, why am I clicking 10,000 different things every turn? <laughs> this is not the way. This is not the way. You just... Come on. <laughs> Stop moving. And maybe if we start to gather these units, kind of like down along this river or something. Our collective mind, yes. The hive mind. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> okay. I see you. Um, you could probably... There's probably seen enough people that way to be fair. That's alright. Just keep bleeding these cities dry of population. Um... Okay, so Navigable River con continues. Bordeaux. Uh, in Bordeaux in the south of France. One assumes. Uh, so. <laughs> hmm. I think this is fine. Feeling optimistic. Not optimistic for the f f quick finish, though. <laughs> At turn 22. <laughs> But not a bad first run. All right. Considering I didn't know that the English were in the south of France. Uh, should have been really a logical place to look for them. Uh, if, if one had ever picked up a historical textbook, I suppose. Um, <laughs> shots fired. Okay, let's move. I grow tired of waiting. You wonder why we're still fighting, right? Oh, uh, uh, we're fighting because Dad said we should. Well, why did he say we should? Because his dad said we should. <laughs> and the land is ours, or something. Okay, this doesn't look ominous at all. This is totally fine. Uh, this is just totally fine. Massive overkill, but totally fine. I'm going to bring these armies back. Probably this one too. You don't need to do that. <laughs> this is a lot. Take in. <laughs> I concede. This is a lot to take in. Okay. Um, I feel like I could probably just romp this, right? Oh, not quite, apparently. Right? Just hold. The people of London. <laughs> It'll be the Great Siege of London. Oh, man. So good. <laughs> um more units. I'd like to really get some of these mounted boys, but um, it'd be quite difficult because we don't know what iron is. Not improving these was a bit of a uh, misdemeanor. Ooh, stability's a little bit of a problem here too. Huck. Here we go. <laughs> Just enough. <laughs> Um, I think these are a little out of date. <laughs> I don't think we'll get chariots. Improve that. Uh, attach that up there. Om nom nom.
The other side took baths frequently. Mm. Loneliness is next to managerliness. Great SpongeBob SquarePants quote. Um, all right, <laughs> I hope somebody got that. I, but I felt the need to describe it, so unlikely. Okay, uh, we could get more cities, but again, I feel like it's probably not really needed. Although we could sort of city our way down, I guess. Cities all the way down. Sure. At least attach, maybe. Surrender London, say goodbye to boiled English fare and feast instead on Franks and French fries. <laughs> ah, hello, someone going away. That is brilliant. Okay. This place is also going to feast its eyes. I'm losing a lot of gold. Gold is a slight problem. I concede. However... We're kind of going to pillage our way into, um, into, <laughs> I don't know, wealth and status once more. Yeah, we're going to pillage our way in. Don't worry, it's fine. Everything is completely and utterly under control. You have my full confidence. And I hope I have yours. <laughs> London, all of a sudden there's 16 people. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be an absolute... Peasantry bloodbath. And I like it. Okay. Um, connecting these will also help, you know, somewhat. Perhaps to reduce our overhead. Although that didn't seem to. Let's try it once more. See if it does anything. It also didn't do anything. Maybe that's just an old wives tale. Um, why do so many old wives have tales? A strange feat of human anatomy. Yeah, this looks fairly safe. <laughs> Should I get the old, um, Fuji What's It Warmer Do thing? I think I should. The Forbidden City is, of course, what I'm reaching for there. Um, let's see. Six. Can I get it? If I could get it in maybe two turns, I would stay. Four. Well, let's not bother. It's a complete and utter waste of time, though, so I should now just get rid of it entirely. <laughs> uh, it's a great loss, really. Um... Huckville can kind of help to sort of bail us out somewhat as well. Perhaps. Let's try it. Oh, a favorite in the Humankind soundtrack. You know, I don't off the top of my head, but I'm sure that I would because it's such an interesting and varied soundtrack. Um, I want to proceed with this action. Yeah, I think that's fine. <laughs> Please, thank you, thank you. Um, I think we can just resolve that. <laughs> the instant siege of London. Great success. Uh, a cultural blessing, no less. Uh, could pump us towards 5% extra food or plus one combat strength. That should help. We'll go for that, Simplicity. just in case we need it, but we absolutely focused. don't because this is depending, of course, just on where you go next. Really a big old blubber. Uh, all right, track down this way. You track down this way. Likewise, you lot as well. Very good. We'll just start sort of marauding our way down <laughs> through here, <laughs> just like we did to north. Um. And just pump out a few more of these, I reckon. See a Forbidden City. Maybe a little bit of gold generation here, too. <laughs> Please, sir. Yeah, I like that. It was frankly too much for London. Mood. Okay, up you get. London's gone. I wonder if there's more 
Filth over here. Um, I don't make also wonder if there's more English people over here. Uh, <sighs> not, not overly pleased violence. about that, eh? <laughs> I you <laughs> uh, we'll investigate. Okay, turn 25. If you voted for the fast victory, I don't know about that. <laughs> should we do some pillaging? We probably should. Yeah, 106 bucks. 105. Let's burn London to the ground. <laughs> this was by design. This is the way it was meant to be. <laughs> we'll reap our rewards. Yes, burn it all! Look at this. Although 10 turns is kind of slow. Burn this down too. These guys can probably do it in 5. 6. Yeah, go on. Um, okay, that's fantastic. This is how we're going to Uno reverse card <laughs> our finances. <laughs> you believe pillage is a French word, so it makes sense. Oh, brilliant. Taking it back to its historical roots. Uh, one becomes immune to <laughs> pillaging. Oh, God. <laughs> Do they, though? <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, I think I'll grab this territory as well. Seafaring Mastery, the first to discover that. So we know that we could own the seas. You can cause trouble if any way we you want to. Now, um, have a better chance of getting away with it. That's a pretty tasty outpost, so I'll bounce to that. But not as tasty as you. The organist, the organist, the, the, the organist. I'm going to go with organist and say thank you very much for a very kind 9.99 euros. Love it. Thank you so much. Look at that awesome yellow super chat. The first of the day. And uh, I've got my voice changer back. So let's give this a random roll. I'm going to roll the dice twice. Okay, here we go. I'm sure this will be great. Uh, uh, the, the ordinance says, as, as you are basically bankrupting yourself in game. game, this may help. Smiley face. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that is very helpful. That was quite an odd voice. I think it was called Underwater. I don't know how I feel about it. Um... <laughs> but thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Keep burning. In your honor. <laughs> In your honor, my friend. I'm going to give my 10, 10 euros worth. Just you watch. <laughs> and some. Uh, ooh, plus 50% money from ransacking. Well. Well, there's a will, there's a way. Plundered wage is fairly easy to unlock as well. Plus four combat strength bonus and plus fifty percent money. Uh, it will shift me away from that combat strength, but back towards stability. So that's it's okay. Let's get plundered wages. It's an early form. Yeah, of that is so good. Performance-based incentive. I love payments. that. Um, and so now over here in the city of London, I think I have to re-up this. Maybe. Yeah. Look at that. So out with the old, in with the new. It was one hundred and six bucks. Attack! Now one hundred and fifty-nine. I like that. That's good. And because I've only just clicked it, we Let's haven't, like, wasted any turns or anything daft like that. And we've just really, really upped our game. And I've managed to turn around the economy as well. Look at that. Army upkeep is no match for me. This is turning into a really fun game. Although I've sort of lost my sense of urgency somehow along the way. But um, <laughs> this is neat. Okay. And these guys are all just sort of doing their thing. So I think we just leave them to it. Um thing is okay yeah so we are capped out so science will have capped guilds for the money and then like it's just the rest of all of that neat Hannibal Lecter <laughs> okay keep exploring Yeah, I kind of like the word ransack, uh, pillaging over ransacking as well. Sounds nicer. 
Ransacking sounds a bit harsh. Although I guess, you know, fairly harsh. Incredible. <laughs> Ten territories pulled together into a single megalopolis. The next challenge... I have definitely not pulled ten territories into a single megalopolis. Narrator, go home. You've had one too many. Um, it's fine. He doesn't get it quite right every time, but he sounds fantastic. So let him away with it. I was going to sort of connect up as I went, but I forgot. Let's grab that. <laughs> Very sort of haphazard approach. Um, oh, I just think this is the most fantastic thing I've ever seen, though. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay. Mm. I don't know if there's really much of a need here. We could get the Forbidden City for the stability and stuff, I suppose. Unlock some extra wonders, maybe. What have they got marauding around? They've got great swordsmen. So, uh, a, a stronger unit, most certainly. Um... I'm going to sort of colonize my way over in that case. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's kind of like mine anyway, right? <laughs> Just sort of taking what I'm owed. Ooh, and I could use an extra city. So let's get a, um, a Ford War Post. This one looks like a great spot to do it as well. Boom. The Ford War Post. We'll call it... Organist's Post. Right? Kind of fun. Thank you again for your super duper chat. 51 likes. Yeah, I was a little over ambitious with a 100 like target today. Evidently. <laughs> oh well. I should make videos, really. I should be making videos. Um, but that's okay. Let's... <laughs> I've I've got some planned. I'm quite excited to get into them. Um, hmm. So we're about to have a whole lot of money come through, which is very good. So <laughs> let's claim this right out from underneath them. Uh, 18 food as well. Not bad. Thank you, England. You are great. <sighs> this army is very far away. <laughs> Here's one iron. It's not really mine, but we can fix that. Now it's mine! <laughs> Easy fix. Um, I'll grab some more resources. I should have done this a long time ago. Probably as well. So, when I... When we do the proper play, I need to keep track of this. So I need to move south as soon as I can. Um, like, it's probably more important to move south than north. Although, trapping them um, up to the north has, was really useful to just squeeze out London. Um, I think my science generation was about right, and I don't regret going for it first. That was pretty good. But my movements aren't slow. <laughs> Suspiciously topical, you're right. Infiltration station. Mm, we can really up our money, which I, I guess is probably at this point um, a good idea. I'd also I'd like to get a harbour out this way so that I can just send some ships down. Um, but I think it's up here, which is really unfortunate. So maybe I... Yeah, I'm going to have to try and take this territory. Okay. Let's jump to that. Um, you're probably just such a waste of time, but we'll walk you down here nonetheless. Maybe also things like guilds or ro um, you know, trade route road, all that those sorts of things to help me navigate across the land faster, considering pace is the key um, part of the challenge. It probably makes sense to be able to move a bit quicker. I love the Total War series. Uh, Rome Total War, the original Rome Total War, I think was probably my first historical strategy game that I really got into. I was relatively young. I used to like go around to one of my mates' places and play it on the Windows 95 desktop with a CRT monitor. Um, and it just could not run it. 
But... <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, I do really like them. Um, I, I've i never owned one of the fantasy ones, like the Warhammery ones, so I can't really speak to those. But I have owned most of the historical ones and, and generally enjoyed them because like you say, it's a, it's a nice blend, a nice crossover. It's fun. Uh, higher army costs or assimilate costs, I think those are both fairly useless, but we will take our plus one combat strength back. Assimilation does seem practical. And let's grab this one. And then get a coastal harbor. Um, I, I want to get vision, so I'm just going to kind of relocate around a bit. Just to see what's going on. Okay. Well, I mean, that was a bit excessive, to be fair. <laughs> Jeez. I probably shouldn't have done it the, the third time. But, um, you know, that's fine. Now I can see this land, so I can start to build um, some better harbors. Better harbors. Probably don't actually need all this money crap right now. I'm going to get a couple of boats online as soon as that harbor's down. Hopefully it'll pick this one as the default spawn. I actually don't know. This is a fantastic way to make money. I'm feeling very happy. What's going on here? Oh, don't you interrupt. Oh no, I think it was fine, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, because we're completely bailed out. Yes, we saved the economy. Yoda Tink. Nice to see ya. Pronounced Sakaj. Sakaye, Sakaje. There's more oomph than pillaging. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Does it derive from sacrifice? Is that, is that... I wonder if they'll have the same, like, root word. I wonder. I do. It'll keep me up at night. I wonder if that has the same root word. <laughs> it won't. Uh, okay. Come on. Move your backside. And I, because I wasted all my influence relocating that outpost really haphazardly, uh, we're going to have to pay the price there. That's fine. Uh, Paris is very f full of people. What is this? Oh my god. <laughs> Can you not? I knew that would happen. Bad things happen to good people and also to bad people. Uh, 31, 31, 35. All right. Let's stomp back over there with these guys. That's a disaster. An absolute disaster. Go on a shorty! Thank you, welcome to the mini pixels! Man, thanks again to everybody who um, made last stream so special as well. If you're watching this, I really appreciated it. Um, just reminded me seeing the, the new membership, all those gifted memberships, but and, and those uh, massive donos as well. Holy crap, it was like buzzing for like a day. It was. Incredible. Thank you for your generosity. Once more. Um, and thank you, Shorty. Kia ora. And welcome. Yo, Shorty. <laughs> hmm. Bad consequences. Let's encourage the artists. Surely. We're a creative people. Okay, the 100 Years War rages on. Not quite. <laughs> Actually, I haven't been keeping track. When did it start? <laughs> hey, Ben. Nice to see you too. Oh, this is fantastic. A relatively quiet stream, but nice to see the gang's all here. Literally, his birthday is a mini pixel. Happy mini pixel birthday. <laughs> King in full effect. Okay. Let's do that again. It worked so well last time. Fight. Fight. 
We will burn London to the ground. Oh yes, that magical ice sleep button. Good call. 6,480 influence. Seems pretty good. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Speak of the devil and he shall appear! Ben Ownby. Ben has just gifted. Not one, not two, not three, nor four, but five. Sorry, that one was quite dark. Um, it was meant to be celebratory. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> that is so cool. Um, I wonder when they will come through. Sometimes they're slow. Sometimes they're fast. I don't know if you have any control over them still, but I certainly don't. <laughs> uh, thank you, Ben. Thank you for supporting the channel and growing the community and... and helping this stream and doing everything all at once at the same time and being so kind. I appreciate it. It's a very long-winded pillage. I thought I was going to say thank you, didn't you? <laughs> oh, this is ugly. Uh, although, could be worse. Could be worse. Um, should we absorb these two together, maybe? Yes. Holy cow, that's a lot of Starving people. Uh, they'll be fine. Uh, by doing that, we can get an additional city down this way. <laughs> right up against them. <laughs> Let's do it. I love it. Spicy, stupid gang. <laughs> hey, there we go. The gifted memberships are rolling through. And you even get your name up on screen. How cool. How cool. That is awesome. I love it. Okay. Um, right. So, Bordeaux is the target. Whether we choose to accept it or not. Uh, I want to check my war score because there could be opportunity to end and then come back. Although, not really in the spirit, perhaps, of the 100 Years War. But, hey. <laughs> biggest comfy chooses. <laughs> oh, boy. It's time for another ridiculous voice. I'm rolling the dice. Testing. Testing. And, and we're, we're good. good. Are, Are we? we? This, this just sounds, sounds like, like me. me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try. try. Thank, Thank you so, you so much. much. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ticket Ticket eight eight dollars. Dollars. My, My friend, friend says, is this the most shambolicious of all the, the pixels pixel streaming? streaming? I, I think so. so. Thank you for your generosity. That was... That was the kind of vibe that I was after. Very good. Ah, Dio, a membership for you and him to the B as well. <laughs> Thank you for your generous donation, honestly. That is so cool. We're back, baby. I thought I claimed this already. Oh, I, I pillaged it for myself, didn't I? I did. I did. I'm not proud of it. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> oh, I should have merged those the other way really as well. That was a bit of a, a faux pas. Um, Alright, let's focus on the task at hand. You can just build that wonder because I think we're probably done with you. We're going to defend this one lone tile. And scare off these rebels. Get out of here! Uh, and we'll turn this one into a city. Might relocate it to somewhere really obnoxious like here. <laughs> I love it. Uh, and then we'll squeeze onto that. Hook that up. Don't need those. Let's produce some great swordsmen, actually, because we do need those. Um, and we could ditch any kind of bad units as they float through, maybe. Which one are we talking about? Total War. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, you should. Definitely. Definitely worth a go. I agree. I agree. Although, which one? And actually, this is a very good question. Because I would like to get back into playing a Total War game. Um, and so, 
anybody in chat, whether you're an expert or not, doesn't matter. Um, I'd love your advice. What one should I get into? I prefer the historical ones, but to be fair, I've never actually played one of the more fantasy-driven ones. Um, at least not in any great detail. So I'm open to it. Um, kind of just want to play, like, the best one, so to speak. <laughs> Is there a broadly accepted best one? Uh, I imagine it's kind of like a Civ scenario where it's sort of, you know, Civ 5, Civ 6. They're both really good, a bit different. Depends on what you like. Maybe. I've heard good things about Warhammer. Which Warhammer? So many Warhammers. So little time. Latin. Bag. Unrelated to sacrifice. Which comes from sacred. Oh, lame. But, thank you. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> All right, I think we just smash Bordeaux. <laughs> All these fundraisers are doing a great job, really. But we don't need their cash anymore because we've saved the empire. Oh, get out of my face. Maybe I retreat from that to prolong the Hundred Years' War. I really don't have war score. Unjust war, proximity, state. Um, okay. Odd, considering <laughs> occupying the capital. Whoa, that is a whomper of a fight. Probably going to have to take this one manually, which is fitting because it's a sort of a warlike scenario. So, you know, I probably should. Um, oh, although actually we could probably get away with it. Let's jump in and take a look. Pretty risky, although we do have to be on the front line as crossbows. Um, so actually being off the river is probably a dang good idea. Um, we could almost hide behind it and try and bait them back, move forward to them if we want. Let's do it. Uh, strategic genius. Ball gun. Three kingdoms, newer one. Extremely strong diplomacy game. Okay. I like me a good diplomacy game. Northgard is great. Yeah, Northgard's great. We're fans of Northgard here. I've never covered it on the channel, but we're fans of Northgard here. I think we're also fans of automatically letting the AI do a round of this and seeing what kind of damage we do. Because I think that while I could stand here and click it, I'd much rather turn my eyes to chat while the AI clicks it for me and I just sort of, you know, sort of warlord over it, if you will. <laughs> Commander! Yeah, see, that's like really good deploys. Uh, maybe the crossbows on the river are questionable, but um, they kind of have to... Ugh. Well, no, they don't. The one on the flag has to, but the other one's sort of not really. Um, I'm not sure what those pikemen are doing over in the forest either. To the right. Excuse me. We're over here. Warlord manager jumbo. <laughs> okay. Neat. Military stars earned. Always good. Um, let's keep pumping out some units. <laughs> just, just our unit, apparently. Neat. Alright. I think we can close in. The boats, ah, they were a pipe dream. They were a pipe dream. Could I get some here? Please? <laughs> okay, it didn't set it automatically. It must set the first one rather than the most recent. Um, this is annoying. I hate you. I'm going to insta resolve that and lose. How dare you? Let's get some extra um, Parisian guards out or something. Go away. Go away. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Hey, another gifted membership. Rolling on out. <laughs> I love it. That's so fun. I think I need a system of generals on the battlefield. Could be cool. I wonder if they'd be treated like um, like heroes from Civilization VI, but 
in a slightly scaled down sense, like the um, Not like the special the units from the cultures of Nintendo Pack, for example, um, the, the mod pack that is. Nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine rooms. I don't know, but I like it. Or would they have more of a just like a kind of a Hearts of Iron style, you know, plus fifteen percent applied? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. I, I use the boring voice, not because it's boring. Ah, uh, like great people. Yeah, it could work like great people. Yep. Yep, just sort of a generic um, vulnerable unit that has some sort of uh, passive buff effect. That would be quite an easy integration, actually. Right. I imagine. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Speaking entirely out of turn. Um, seems like a concept that's been tried before. Civilian units that benefit? Yeah, I'd like this. I'd like that too. I agree. I agree. It would be fun. Although, of course, you know, it. these kinds of things also get to a point, I think, where they become just sort of redundant. Like, why, you know, why is this here? Why am I having to click this, kind of? So, it's a fine balance, but I broadly absolutely agree. Um, I mean, we could, we could get a wonder, I guess. I don't, it, it feels somewhat irrelevant. And there go the last two. Thank you, Ben, for your five times Jumbo Pixel generosity. Five times, five times a Jumbo Pixel. Nah, I think that's a waste. Can we just do anything that sort of is generically good for the Empire? <laughs> I mean, it needs a bit more food. Feed the people. That'll keep you busy. Uh, and iron. Iron, 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 iron is something that I need to focus on next time as well. And so it, it's over here. This way from Paris. Hmm... Okay. All right, I think we can do this. Go, you little... Why would you go that way? <laughs> it seems like a very odd way to do things. Don't think I need to claim this. Doesn't... I don't think it helps at all. <laughs> yeah, kind of like the new healer EU. Good point. Good point. Good point. Um, that's a lot of influence. Neat. I just keep burning London to the ground. I should probably stop, actually. It's probably not very good for... <laughs> morale. <laughs> Can I just destroy it? Let's just destroy it. I do not live for revenge. Oh, they're about, they're about to sort of capitulate a bit. Um, we don't really have a lot of war score, so that's probably the other thing that I need to be more aware of. Um, moving forward. Oh, and again, see, because this isn't actually a river, it's coast, it's it's quite difficult to navigate through. So, Lighthouse of Alexandria! <laughs> Would it be more useful than what I built? In fairness. So, there's that. <laughs> Right, these ships will be uh, infinitely useful, though, actually. Um, in protecting these civilian units. We'll wreck them at the seas. Oh my god! Oh, that's problematic. Light House of Alexandria is right under my nose the whole time! <laughs> Me going, oh man, I'd really love a lighthouse. Should have got that lighthouse. My people are literally building the mother f***ing lighthouse right in front of my face. <laughs> I'm burning the city down around it. Oh, I don't know sometimes. I, I do wonder. Okay, as soon as we can get across this river, we could probably take them. 
Let's um, fortify anybody who's not going to be immediately helpful. Just so that I'm not clicking a million bajillion. With five farmers, right, go. Here you go. Have I'm going war can be ended. I'm already angry. Bit of a yikes. Do not drive me to um. I find your. So, <sighs> I've got 98 war score. It's not enough, but I feel like I kind of have to wrap it up. Or should we keep pushing? Let's keep pushing. It was We've got a bit of war score left. <laughs> Push! It's the 100 years war after all. Wrap it up? What does that even mean? We know not of this wrap up nonsense. Shift down here. Graphics will be a little poop. Mm, mm, it's true. I am a bit of a graphic snob. But actually, if the game's good, it doesn't doesn't usually bother me. Like Songs of Conquest, very unique graphic style game that I really enjoyed playing. So much fun, quite different, quite hard. I'll probably fight this guy. <laughs> what are you doing? You're a you're a horse. You don't belong here. <laughs> So in the wrong neighborhood. Bye. Oh, don't tell me there's another city down this way. <laughs> another army to replace these ones when they uh, inevitably go their separate ways. Or sods. Right, disembark, disembark. <laughs> um, maybe we hone these ones down here. Keep them floating in the river. Bit of a bottleneck, but we can um, actually have these ships kind of overlap, so <laughs> I should have done that. <laughs> okay, I think we take this place. Wow, it's tight. Bordeaux? How about Bordeaux? Okay, I'm going to insta resolve that one because I think that's a fairly safe bet. Neat. Uh, oh, you will rue the day. <laughs> okay, we're learning. That one should be fairly easy. Did that help my war score in any way? So I'm currently losing minus four from territories influenced by opponents. So I could use my uh, Huji Watsit to maybe take control of those. Uh, unjust war. Again, we, we will fix that in post next time. Uh, and <laughs> minus two from proximity state as attack. I can't really do much about that. Um, hmm. Okay. 570 gold. So I really need gold. <laughs> Who would have thought? Doesn't sound like me. Um, I also really need stability, unfortunately. I think we'll go for gold. Go for gold. Um, up here. No, actually. Here. Remus. I'd be remiss to not build here. Oh my god, he's on fire. Um, and here as well, why not? Stability? <sighs> A little bit of an issue, but should be fine. I really don't think these units are going to do me much good. I might just get rid of these. Um, save a bit of cash. I want to burn London to the ground. I've got three more turns to decide if I want to burn this birthday cake down. Uh, let's sink this horse out of land. And intercept him once more! See ya.
I think we're fine. Let's do stability things. So that I don't have, you know, the entire empire <laughs> revolt all at once. <laughs> your people bloop, 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 bloop. as a place of safety. There we go. A symbol of power. Easy fix. Only your friends know. What are you even worried about? <laughs> you can stay put. I'm gonna try and um, <laughs> add some efficiency to this army. Let's track along these roads, I suppose. Kind of cool. Jump into the water. Are you along the water? I think you are. You must be. Paris is only able to not be thanks to this big bad boy. <laughs> uh, industrial production. Mm, money. Let's hope that there is innovation. <laughs> money, and money, money. Direct the long hours. Didn't really help much my goal per turn, did it? Although I suspect, actually, as the turn sort of roll, roll through, we should see that improve. Hopefully. Yeah. Alright. Down they come. <laughs> Track all of them down like that. Stomp our way over here. <laughs> Go on. It's a lot of clicking. But it's done. Um, and I think I was just going to send these guys off to see what resources and etc. etc. were here. Check that there wasn't any English spillover, that kind of thing. Um, we could get our cavalry there, which is pretty cool. Insta resolve and hopefully win that. We lost. That's cool. Uh, really neat. <laughs> Don't want that farmer's caught up. An ongoing war can be ended. The question is, should it? 570 bucks. Let's convert, um... Hmm. Is confused. Um, this one? Whoa, whoa. I'll do that one. It's 10,000 influence. Thank you. Or Doe, welcome to the team. Sort of. <laughs> Alrighty. Scream our way down here and dust that off. Chuck them on auto explore just to go and take a look. Although we'll need to keep that defender nicely defended. <laughs> Probably get rid of some of the fairly expensive auto explorers. It's got to be said. Let's resolve that. Send that coward fleeing back to the shores where I have another ship waiting along the coastline of Bordeaux. Um. Just don't turn the legal system into a surreptitious <laughs> way to impoverish. Let's um, enact some nefarious civics. Work on money. Okay, London's gone. London has quite literally fallen down. Um, and these nerds have built something else over here. So let's track over that way and just make sure that that doesn't come of anything. Uh, there's a revolution happening, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. We're the French, after all, so we're practically permanently in a state of revolution. Uh... <laughs> Let's go. The jumbo bridge is falling down. <laughs> Quite rapidly. Oh my god, this more! Filthy. Should I source this end? 127. Let's keep pushing. <laughs> the greed.
Get a replacement army. Maybe also get a replacement city. It was merely a passing thought. Um, absolutely terrified off me now. <laughs> I think if we can keep getting some military victories too, it'd be really helpful. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if my ships are going to be all that helpful. Um, but there does appear to be an English city down that way. So, I guess we'll go and take a look. Stomp over there. Again, it's kind of like, uh, should I just delete these units because they're really garbage? Probably. I'm going to keep them. And let's rune over this way. Uh, run, sorry. <laughs> Army's looking a little light. <laughs> How dare you! Try and bounce those guys over to Bordeaux and quickly train up some more. Kind of got too many ships at this point. It's uh, really overkill. Slaves? Absolutely not. What I not miss is Jumbo. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> okay, so I think we we have to because of <laughs> because of my lack of war score, um that that has played out that way. They were able to force me to surrender. I think through just a lucky, um, well, not lucky, but through some skillful navigation of the war school mechanic. So, okay, okay, that's fine. <laughs> it was not love I just or hate. Completely first. plummeted. So, what we'll do instead is um, just sort of take stuff. Take both. Your support. It is our rock. So we force and that, and then we uh, hopefully immediately sort of generate some grievances and then stab them. I mean, I do have the wonder, I guess, helping me out. <laughs> uh, Bordeaux is mine, so we could probably just convert the people who live here into soldiers. Uh, that's a little ugly. And then we'll probably take this and then try and heal up these dudes so that when we go back in, we're really fighting strong. Oh, Sikamon Delano, thank you for four months! A jumbo pixel! Uh, too bad there aren't tribes like the Garbanzo or Kidney. Because if there was, you could ally with them. And then you'd be Franks and Beans! <laughs> That is good. You are good. You can stay. We'll keep you. Uh, just like we'll keep these slaves. You may treat them like loot and property, but they are still human beings. Then we'll send them off on a great auto explore of their life. Viva la Révolution is over! people can get back to doing what they do best plotting their next revolution and we will <laughs> run away from that how dare you pick on the one dude I'm just gonna disband them they're a waste um although have a seat. Have a glass. you attack for transgression you oppressed my people you, you oppressed my you people go where you do not belong Make it I refuse your stupid demand I find your proposition outlandish at how do you like me now good it's available now it is someone over there wow let lucky 11 months <laughs> 
even. What? Is it seven? Is it 11? We don't know. Uh, it's likely 11. Thank you, Lit Lucky, for 11 months, nearly at our 12 month anniversary, which is not too shabby. <laughs> Thanks for your continued support. Yeah, we'll just stand here. I'm keen to move, you know, fairly aggressively, uh, fairly quickly, I should say. Yeah. I don't think these boats are going to be very useful, but I'll sail them over here to intimidate. <laughs> I might be able to do like a volley or something. I don't know. That's good. Um... <laughs> Yep. Um, <laughs> just me whistling away to the tune. <laughs> Good. Pillage that. Get them out of the. Uh... You're on auto explore, no? Yes, no, maybe? We'll bundle all those boys together as well. Okay, very good. All right, the war stick is out. We just need to take these two cities, and then I'm hoping that the game will be mine. <laughs> Although, who knows what lies out this way. <laughs> Should have the rebels relatively under control now, too. Let's actually path over this way a bit. Down there. One, two, three. Yep, that looks good. Have a seat. Have a glass. Let's get to know each other. Okay. Um, grants me 15 more support. That's pretty good. Withdraw all those. Get me above the 50 at least. Then I get the bonus 25 on top of that, I think. Um, if I could get to 80, we'd be really away and laughing. Don't really need much else here. Um, Paris could get two more defenders. Paris. Alright. <laughs> we finally ready. Oh, this poor boat. You're dead to me. Oh, I can't even destroy it. Just stay there. <laughs> suffer. Speaking of sta staying there and suffering, I could chop that down, but I won't. Um, let's just dab into some of the more useful infrastructure. I'll keep insta-resolving these fights against the rebels, because we're not, like, let's be real, we're not concerned about the rebels. Sorry, rebels. But I should train some units as sort of a standing guard, I guess, um, in many ways. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready to perish? I'm already angry. 42. I'm at 48 plus 4. That's not as great as I would have liked. Um, I wonder if I can like, offer a deal or something. Nah, there's no deals here. <laughs> ah, no deals here! <gasps> oh, shoot. Okay. Let's just push it. Unless this changes my mind doesn't. Go, you little beautiful armies. Scare them off. That's good. Um, so that's another plus five. It's probably worth waiting on now. Uh, and I wonder, actually, could we... Where did they go? Like, they're probably just hiding around here somewhere. Unless they, they didn't take the fight, surely. No. No? I'm surprised they don't have visibility off them as all. Oops. Alright, we're good. We're good! <laughs> but are we, Jumbo, they ask? Maybe not. Uh, 57. Okay. So... 
ideally I want this to be uh, at 80 minus 25. So I want this to be at 55. It already is. Let's do this. Oh, is that how it works or does it apply rich? It may actually apply after the fact. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Grants you 25 war score. But it does apply after the fact. So I actually need to get to 80 first. That's probably going to be too hard. Um, so, surprise. I have Hi, it's me. Quickly. <laughs> Great. Let's take out these units at the back. Um, we'll jump in and let the AI do it, but we'll keep an eye on it just in case something goes horribly wrong. Here come the ships. <laughs> Starboard, port bound, wayside. I don't know. Uh, ship things. Um, very good. Yeah, no, this is this is fine. I think we can almost safely auto resolve. Uh, what do Aerostars do in this scenario? Nothing. Although could potentially uh, the fame will potentially be used as a tiebreaker in the event that two competitors finish in the same number of turns. I'd have to double check that. I can't quite remember all of the different uh, the different tiebreaker things that they're using, but um, it could be that. Uh, other than that, no real purpose. I'm not, I haven't been trying to get it. Like, I'm. if I'm not getting a yield, like gold, for example, I, I don't care about its stars. Because um, you're right, they don't really serve a purpose. Okay, well, that was an absolute bloodbath. Uh, and I think, given that, we can probably to resolve that. <laughs> and then move over here to our little friend. Little friend. Ugh. Hemorrhaging a little bit of cash again, but we could burn an English city down to make up for that. We won't, but we could. Um, Alright, send the back ones in. Through the front. Around the outside, around the outside. Just send... Oh, sorry, boats. You're out of luck. Hey, look, you can come around here. <laughs> I'll just put these on um, infrastructure. We don't need them anymore. Could actually uh, think to merge them or something like that. Good night, Octo, and any other Europeans who may be drifting off into the dream. Z. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for liking the video. We nearly got to our uh, initial like target of, of uh, seventy minus one, so that was that's pretty good going. Pretty good going. Thank you so much for your company. More than anything, though, this is nowhere near as fun if you're talking to your like completely talking to yourself. So I appreciate it. I appreciate it, I think, less, no, more than the English appreciate just how much of a kicking I'm gonna give them right now. <laughs> We're really gonna give it to them. And we will also hopefully have found out whether this is this is it or not. Assault! Insta resolve! Insta success. Okay. What is this? Can you not? <laughs> they are filthy. Um Okay. Fine. Mature way. <laughs> See you. Um, oh, the ships, though. The ships. They will have a purpose once more. Oh, very good. And we'll get two armies and just pop them out and take that down. Unbelievable. This emblematic unit. Uh, war score well and truly at 100. They're at nothing. Do I have the score to just destroy them? We could vassalize them at 220. Very nearly. Very nearly. Let's squeeze in on this and, and call this a day, I think. Uh, cancel that. Thank you very much. Just keep an eye on it. <laughs> so many 
Ali's such little time. Okay. Very good. And congratulations to the 53% of people who voted correctly in the poll. It looks like it will indeed be a later than 25 turn victory. 14% of people thought that I could do it faster than 25 turns. I appreciate you in the full run. I hope to. Uh, and 32% of people voted for Defeat Nerd. We had 146 votes in total, which is kind of cool. In the water. And we're now going to just really right. give it to them. <laughs> on the ship. Oh. Ooh. Somewhat of a close one. <laughs> it paid off! Those boats pay dividends. Vassalized works? Good. I'm already angry. How are we doing? 245 war score. And you, my English friend, require 255. That was a bit anticlimactic, wasn't it? Uh, hold that thought. <laughs> BRB. <laughs> Come to annoy me? Okay, what am I at Just now? Two forty-seven. <laughs> hmm, that's a bit problematic. Two forty-seven. Okay, I we need seven war score. <laughs> Amazing. Although, how do I generate it if they don't have any units? Pillaging? Um, what other actions could I take? Could end it and do it again. That'd be an, an easier way to secure it, probably. Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. Maybe could take to that outpost? It's like five turns though. Feels a bit silly. Uh, no, nah, I don't really like the look of that. I could go hunting for some rogue units in the hopes that there's an army of six somewhere, but I just don't think there is. May have to just pillage our way through this. Hoping that it adds rather than subtracts. I know it's a bit different now. Um, I think it might actually be a, a hinder rather than a help. <laughs> From memory. <laughs> like I, I don't really want to mess with the sort of delicate balance too much. Um, although I am losing one a turn. So maybe I have to say close but no cigar. Force the surrender. And then just pounce on them immediately again i think i will um so i'll just take that and that and that thanks i can tell you that our group thanks very much um <laughs> and then we'll um try and push some demands against them although they don't have any units so it's hard to get interactions uh, however we can go surprise war and then get the bonus 25 and then end the war so actually that is probably the strategy this wonder could pay dividends if you just wanted to go war, 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 like as fast as you possibly could. In and out, in and out. Uh, oh, for goodness sakes. What is this? <laughs> Send everyone a wild goose chase. Lucky we've sort of semi-colonized this part of the world so we can get over there fairly quick, smart. Um... Let's not get great swordsmen and instead focus on the seas. Pump out some extra units along there. <laughs> I don't know what these guys are up to. I think they're just going to come and pillage this. Oh, hold on. Get together. You'll be faster that way. It'll generate some friction, which is nice. Well, not really. Get up to, I don't know. I just breeding. 
insufferably. Uh, we're five cities over the cap, which is quite funny. Get a couple of those bad boys down. Take that and in the turn. Four generations of conflict over hating a French king. <laughs> uh, people, huh? Go! Oh! Just send everybody. Those guys are going to get in the way. Colonization's probably a bit late. Subs oh, it could be useful though. Um, what does it do? Doesn't seem to. Plus twenty-five stability for two turns. Or tooltip is really not playing ball. Plus ten money, plus ten industry. Both kind of garbage. Do you really want to punish them for the unmeditated crime of Pull being born elsewhere? Boom. Thirty research quarters. Where are you? Can safely say that the library of Alexandria has been avenged. Oh yeah, I burnt down the lighthouse of Alexandria. That was a misdemeanor, really, wasn't it? On reflection, let the English claim it and then steal it. Let's take that so they can't do anything else to it. <laughs> Turns moving along nice and fast. With five research quarters, you're going to run out of questions to answer. Five research quarters? That ain't so. Huck looking delectable. Let's get, uh, I don't know, just some Hamlets or something, I guess. <laughs> Sure. And you can stay put. You are sort of wasted my time, so I might just go blip, 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 blip. Blip, 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 blip. And grab all that crap. But my real prize is waiting for me. Oh, crap. See those boats there? Although, pretty annoying intercept. You, they would do that. <laughs> to fight these people to get through. A new independent people. And who are they? Time will tell if they are helpful. Hey, Dusk and Dawn. Nice to see you as well. <laughs> yeah, also that out of context had occurred to me too, Ben. <laughs> oh, nice to see so many people. I haven't talked to you and some of you in such a long time. So annoying that we can't pass through the... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, stomp those Toledos. Move the ships. First one's arrived. Sail around the side. It's only got six. It should be fine. Continue to stomp down these barbarians. <laughs> Somebody's got to. Um, and my culture is now just totally dominant which is great didn't stand a chance um, I reckon I could almost just take this with the ships so let's try uh, I haven't been generating any war score don't really have any though uh, to generate hmm potentially do some pillaging. What do I need? 25 gaining plus 2 a turn. That's relatively slow. Um, I don't have the war score though. Frustrating. Frustrating. Oh, you little beauties. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, yeah, and at this point, again, I, I've, I've maxed these places out. I don't need to do anything with them. Oh, Dusk. Thank you so much. For six shekels. British. <laughs> British. British party for whatever reason. Yeah, we're about to crush them. Just as soon as the game will allow me. You see, one must declare a formal war. <gasps> First of my people, I have no demands. I have no anything to demand. This is obviously a terrible um, outcome if I was going for my a record-breaking attempt. But nice now that I have got a feel for the map. Reflecting a bit, I think the, the best move is to in fact go south. Obviously not north straight away. Um, although ring fencing London is nice, I think you use your ace seat ability to spam out a whole load of outposts. And so you can do the best of both worlds. Um, not moving south straight away was a mistake. Uh, the next biggest one was not generating war score earlier. I should have gone into the war with 100, or at least with that wonder and 80. Um, Any time that I'm not doing that is a real waste of time. So... Yeah. Those are probably the two key lessons, I think. Other than just generically sort of getting a feel for, you know, what units are available and blah, blah. I think something that I did right was probably the science. That was, that worked out quite well. Although again, of course, redundant after a certain amount of time. Here comes some people out of their city, which is great. I wish they'd step out a little more. I would not put myself in this position <laughs> if I feared the consequence. All right, let's cycle. So I think we're in position. Nearly. Oh, wait. I should probably just, um, do my favorite move like that. <laughs> Don't look at our influence. It doesn't matter, is the beauty. I'll claim this right next to them just to really put... <laughs> Really put the boot down. Let's really put the boot down. I'm turning it into a city. How do you like that? If I can't huh? Teach you, wisdom, you find that kind of annoying, punk? You regret. Apparently not. Oppressing my people. Claim to territory on my border. Okay, good. <laughs> Heal up from our wounds with the barbarians. Boom, boom, boom. I've got s far too many cities as well, on hindsight. I think the feudalism play is probably the, a mistake. Probably just get the units and then take their cities. This is the better play. Also would work out better for like influence and stuff like that too. So um, less, Im less empire building at the start actually would be probably my third takeaway as well. Because a lot of it, I was like way over prepared. <laughs> Particularly for the fight in London. Um, that bloodbath, I mean, goodness gracious. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. It would not allow for Twenty. Neat. Blip, blip. 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 That's right. Yeah, that's right. So it's it's the 100 years war, and so we're stuck in the medieval era. Um, in fitting with the sort of historical context. And so there's a tipping point where science just literally becomes entirely useless. Not just because I don't need the fame, but literally because the technologies are capped. That's the, the primary reason, really, um, as to why it just becomes completely redundant. And I probably reached that tipping point too fast, I'd say. Because again, I think... War summons to get the crossbows and the pikemen, very necessary. The rest, eh. Eh, probably not needed. Treating most of your cities as sort of unit pumps anyway, a, a lot of the time. Yeah. Ditch the empire building and just go full on aggro send it, I reckon. Convert that to me. Oh, look, now I've got this. Study Nora. I'll get some extra units. All right. Oh, here's some. I thought they were 
I thought you were boats. <laughs> you look a lot like a boat. Is now the time? Yeah, baby. Let's just freaking get in there. Surprise, it's the 100 years war and it has been raging for well over 100 years. Uh, and now I'm going to end it. The way I should have done a long time ago. It's over and again I have the high ground. Neat. How about Toledo? 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 No. They're gone. I win. <laughs> They're gone, I win? I hope so. And insane. 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 <laughs> it would be cool if they had cutscenes. That would be far too much work. Um, like custom, like historical introductions. Kind of neat for a nerd like me. Um, okay, there's just a tiny little bit of war support somehow for these people. I don't know how. Like, who is still supporting this at this point? What kind of? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I just end all of this. It's all garbage and it's all gone. Maybe in honor of our our sort of French an ancestry, we'll um finally build some uniques just to really, you know, bring that home. See again, un scientific unique as well. What am I doing? What am I doing? Hmm. And, I mean, when in Rome, turn 68. Oh my god, he nearly did. Um, look at things come through him. Horrifically. You. What is it? 167. Comfortable. Let's see. I Can I vassalize you to end this? I'd love to. No. <laughs> Are you serious? What is going on? <laughs> uh oh, where's this? It was merely oh no! Is there more? These guys keep going? No. Let's pass through a turn. Give it, give it a turn to think. There is lots of depth to this and I am thoroughly impressed. What is it? Um, ah, we're gonna run into the exact same situation again. I think we are. Let's just treat this as a test run now then. And have a little play. So now I've just sort of stolen everything and we've revealed yet another city. Jeez, yeah, I've gotta be way faster on my feet. Be way faster on my feet. It's not even close. It's not even close. That's nuts. I can't get over this, this sense of scale. It's so good. Um, I guess at this point I can kind of just go boop, 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 boop. Because I'm probably not going to go over and try and take that last one. Curious to see if the game just ends. <laughs> Or if I can generate a little bit of extra war score. Nah, I think that's unlikely, actually. Let's just do this maneuver. The Brits are toying with you. They are. They're the worst. Look at them. Snotting him. Snotting him. It's literally called snot. Zero food. Love that. You love to see it. You bring your stink here. Open the windows. You bring your stink here. I'm sure you meant cool heads can settle any. I was simply testing the water. Place demands with draw demands. Generate insta war support. Do 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 do. We've got no money, so pumping out uh, insta army is probably not a go. Yeah, not especially. Um, although... We can get some votes. <laughs> ah, I'll try it. 
for science. Idle city, I mean, honestly, I didn't even want it in the first place. Okay, here's our rock star crew. <laughs> ocean explorers, of course, didn't actually really even end up exploring the ocean, did they? So they were a little bit that is shafted, really. <laughs> ...has become available to all. This is no small gift. Very slow moving boats as well, it's got to be said. I mean, I guess it's, you know, dark days. Pally finally going to get some walls. That's a good idea. Oh, look at them. Go, <laughs> oh, you little beauties. They're going to sink. Oh, okay, this was super cool. I, I've, I've really enjoyed this. This is neat. And um, so what we'll, what so what I'll do moving forward is, uh, if you missed the start, uh, Amplitude invited me and nine other creators to participate in a creator version of this challenge, which is of course also um, available to, to everyone, right? This is in the game. Um, and they issued a creator edition of, of a challenge. The prize uh, I could Five common really use, uh, which would be awesome. A brand new Intel, I think, 12900KF or something. Uh, I9 processor, which would be quite cool. So I'm probably going to reflect on this a bit, on what I've learned and tested. Um, I think those three reflections that I made earlier probably hold true. I wonder how fast it's possible. I reckon... Like a, I think that 20 turns could be a go, maybe. I thought 25. Um, I read on the forums that people have been getting it quite low. Saw someone submitted an entry around the turn 18 mark or something. He just must have been. Dwar allies still active today. The oldest alliance in history. That is a cool fact. I like that. Huh. Huh. The March of Human well, History. There you go. I did it. Making your place <laughs> I won the one hundred years war. It was a little rough around the edges and we decided to leave them with a little colony literally around the edges. Um but I did it. Maybe this is where the fame comes in. <laughs> to those wondering. Oh, that is fantastic. Take that. Just. <laughs> Look at me. Fantastic. Hey, well, that will do for today. Um, thank you so much to everybody who's tuned in. Um, I'm going to uh, head away. It's called i7-12700. Thank you. Thank you, Mortish. I appreciate it. Uh, that's a GG and a comfortable victory, like easily a comfortable victory. Not that the fame score would necessarily let you know it. Um, like I say, I'm going to attempt an official attempt at this challenge probably around early September. Um, the rest of this week may be a little disrupted, uh, like the previous, but uh, not quite to that extent, I wouldn't say. And then we should be back to normal viewing um, in September. So, oh, thank you for the GGs. <laughs> and thank you to people like you, Mortish and Pete. And really, most of you who are talking right now, who have been here for a very long time, enjoy me on what is hopefully a fairly enjoyable Sunday night. Um, good luck out there. Good luck for the move, Mortish, tomorrow. I'm sure it will go well. These things usually have a way of working themselves out. Um, and I will see you probably live again, uh, maybe Thursday, your time. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Uh, and last but not least, a huge thank you to Dusk of Dawn for the six shekels. Sika Montelaro for renewing a membership and throwing 10 bucks into the ring. The organist did 9.99 euros and then only the man with the legend gifted not one, not two, not three, not four, but five Jumbo Pixel memberships. Um, and if I recall correctly, uh, Lit Lucky, also 11 months.